Imagine that you only had to choose 10 exercises for the rest of your life to do in the gym. Which exercises will this be? Well, I'm gonna show you the 10 that I chose and I also gonna explain why I chose one of 10 of these exercises, how you can actually do this exercise correctly and lastly how to implement them on your routine. So let's get to the first exercise. The thing is that we like novelty. We, we humans like to do new fun stuff that we can do, new ways to maximize our gains. But when we go to building muscle, what I have seen in my research is that if you implement pro progressive overload to the same exercise week by week, month by month, even year by year, you're still gonna build a lot of muscle and you're still gonna still progress and do a lot of gains. And so one of the things that I have realized is that the more compound the exercise, the better, because you recruit more muscles, you're working more muscles, as well as you strengthening your whole body and stabilize it as well. And also you're even more flexible depending on what exercise you do. But in my experience, I have realized that these 10 exercises that I have done in some periods of my muscle cycles, I even do some exercises that I have been doing for years already. I have enjoyed them. I have progressed them. I can progress them in a different amount of ways, not only weight, which is great. And so for this reason, I chose these 10 exercises and the first top 10 is gonna be the Bulgarian split squats. Now, what I really like about Bulgarian split squats is that you can train your quads and your glutes as well, depending on your foot position. And so that's why I chose it because it's very flexible. You recruit almost every single muscle on your legs apart from your calves, right? But you can progress with different ways. You can do it in a smith machine. You can do it with dumbbells. You can do it with a weighted vest. You can do it with resistance bands. You can do it with your own body weight you're starting. If you really want to focus on the tempo, you can slow down the eccentrics and it's very good. Now, to focus on the glutes, what you're gonna do is put your foot away from your bench and do the exercise. Do a slow eccentric and do an explosive contraction back up. And if you want to focus on your quads, try to put your foot a little bit more closer to the bench for me, right? So closer to you. You can implement this exercise to an upper lower split, as well as your full body split whenever you can, whenever the day allows you. Or also you can implement them on a leg routine. You're doing a pull legs, just add them once or twice on your routine or you can focus one on strength and the other one on hypertrophy as well top nine is going to be the incline biceps curls i think this is the best exercise to grow your biceps because the only downside of this exercise is that it's hard to progress once you go to the 40 pound dumbbells it's going to be way harder but the good thing is that you can really focus on the technique you can focus on doing slow eccentrics you can focus on really working your biceps muscles now but I chose this exercise because I, I try to do other biceps exercises, but when I come back to doing incline curls in my further mesocycles, I, I just feel my biceps working way better apart from other exercises right now and how to do it, which you, you get a bench, put it on a 45 degree angle, right? Sit on the bench with the dumbbells in the initial position, you have your biceps elongated and then do a explosive concentric and then three seconds concentric all the way back down. Now implement them on your routine. You can do this on your upper body days, as well as on your push or pull days, or even on your full body days, which you can split that in a three set of biceps exercises per day. If you do three to five full body sessions a week, right? The top eight is gonna be overhead triceps extensions with cables. I think this is an exercise that really focuses on the long head because you are using one of the triceps that insert on your scapulae, put your shoulder up, that part of the triceps is going to elongate even more and that way you can train your, your triceps way better stimulate those muscles way better so this way you build muscle right so i chose it because i have seen in the gym that most people do overhead triceps extensions with dumbbells but the thing is that i think 99 percent of people do it wrong they don't stimulate their triceps instead they're working more of their shoulders and just increasing the risk of an injury right so the good thing is that you can start this exercise with very little weight five pounds on the cables and you're gonna feel that deep stretch with the amount of reps you do but if you really focus on the technique you're gonna feel those muscles working so get a cable put it on the desired weight start with your triceps elongated like grabbing the cable behind you and do a full contraction extend your triceps all the way up and then do again a, a slow eccentric all the way back down top seven is going to be lateral raises in the cable 
and lateral raise is i think the best exercise that you can do to train your shoulders because you don't only focus on the front delts you also focus on the front and middle delts which is the area of the shoulders that makes your your shoulders way wider way more round looking like more place more dates like that is that if you do it with dumbbells you really feel that deep stretch if you do it correctly but the position you are in and the way you do the exercise you're recruiting other muscles like your lower back which we don't want that right and so i decided to start doing it with the cables because put your body up towards away from the cable machine you're gonna feel a deep stretch in the initial position of the exercise and do the contraction as well again as do the slow eccentrics and so i chose this exercise because i think it's way more effective has worked for me the pump is way more and that's how you do it right the best sets and reps for this exercise for me i think a higher rep range for shoulder exercises is going to be way more effective than lower rep range because we're isolating the shoulders if we do isolated exercises i always think that higher repetitions with lower weights is going to be a bit more easier and also you really focus on the technique right so the top six are leg extensions and i chose this exercise because there's a muscle that when we extend our hips this muscle is extended as well and you can only train the rectus femoris in the leg extensions which is very awesome because the rectus femoris is that muscle in front of your quadriceps that make your quads way look way bigger way more thick right so what i really like about leg extensions is that it's easy to set up you just sit on the machine set it up where your knees are in the pivot point and the part where you use your achilles tendons are in that position right you put your achilles tendons you're just over the cushion in this way you can track the quadriceps all the way up and then a fully eccentric all the way down of around three seconds and you do that all over again but the thing here is that you should lean all the way back when you do the leg extension so this way you actually stretch it long enough your hips stretching your rectus femoris right and that's why i put it on top six because leg extensions is one of those three exercises that you can target this muscle which is great right now the best rep range for this exercise is as well try to do it between 10 and 15 reps top five is going to be romanian deadlifts now i chose this exercise because i just get sore for two days minimum after doing the romanian deadlifts it's crazy because with only like two sets of romanian deadlifts you really feel your hamstrings working you and your glutes as well it's incredible that and that's a good thing you save time with the exercise because you can do it in so many ways on with dumbbells with trap bars with barbells with resistance bands one leg at a time and you really focus on the deep stretch i think you know how to do romanian deadlifts try when you go down on the eccentric part try that a rope is pulling you from behind and that way you drive your glutes away from you and that way the bar is way closer to you and this way you focus on your hamstrings and when you go back up contract your glutes as much as possible recruiting your hamstrings muscles as well now the best reps and sets try to start only with two sets of romanian deadlifts between eight and ten reps and if you see how much you recover the next week you can increase the sets if still you haven't recovered for like after two three days keep it there and increase the weight instead top four is going to be any chest supported rows because here's the thing this is why i chose this exercise by the way when you do penlay rows or barber rows you're using your lower back and for some of us using our lower back it may tax us we, we use more muscles and we need to recover more but when you, we do chest support rows your lower back gets relaxed and we don't use the lower back as much and we actually focus better on the technique of this exercise so when you're gonna do the t-bar row for example you just put your chest right on the support put your shoulders back and down away from you and then you start in the elongated position right do a fully maximized contraction very fast and then a three seconds so eccentric and a pause at the end and you'll see that you're gonna feel every single muscle on your back working it's incredible and that's why i chose it and that's how you do it it's way more simple also you, it's very easy to set up and that's why i love these exercises now you can do a lot of sets if your recovery allows you to you can do it between eight all the way up to 30 reps if you can because i think back exercises depending on what exercise you do and how you recover it's it's up on you but in my opinion i think more like eight to up to 20 reps is a good way to train chest support rows now 
The top three is gonna be the Smith Machine Incline Bench Press. Again, with bench presses on the barbells or dumbbells, when we are training close to failure, we have the risk. We're not gonna lift the weight all the way up, right? And that's why I chose the Smith Machine because let's say that you're closing failure, you're training very close to failure, and you're in your last rep and you can get all the way up, then you just put the bar in one of the clips of the Smith Machine. And this way, you reach failure more and you build muscle more, right, on your chest. But for me, when I did this exercise in one of my muscle cycles, I felt that stretch in my chest. When you do that one second pause at the bottom, you really feel your chest working. And you really do, which is, I think, superior than the normal bench press or incline bench press, which is still great with the dumbbells and barbells. But try the Smith machine and let me know down in the comments if it has been a game changer for you now. The second one is Smith machine squats. The same thing as the Smith machine incline bench press when you're gonna train too close to failure or to failure on the last reps it's very common that you don't lift the weight all the way up right so again you do the same thing as with the incline bench press of course in the last reps when you, you can lift the weight all the way up then you just put it on the clips and that way you just go out right that's why i chose smooth machine squats because for some people squats are also very taxing to the lower back or just the setup is too much or it's a bit too hard to set up or Maybe you're limited on time. And I think the Smith Machine Squats is a better exercise, especially for building muscle, all right? The reps can be the same as a normal squat, as well as the sets. It all depends on what works for you, right? And now for the top one, drum roll, please. Dual handle lateral pull downs. And why I chose this exercise? Well, lateral pull downs, I think is one of the best exercises that you can focus either on your upper back or on your lats because of the grip position and the elbow position, right? If you put your elbows closer to your torso, it's more on the upper back. And for the dual handle lateral pull downs, not only is way easier to go to failure because you're using handles instead of the normal bar, you're also driving your whole back and you're using all the back muscles, which is great in my opinion. That it deserves top one because apart from that, it's easy to set up you can progress the weight, a lot of weight. You can also focus on the technique, on the tempo. It's so good that, and also I, I just recover better with this exercise, even though I really work hard in this exercise. I think these exercises, you should try them in your routine. If you already try them and if it doesn't work for you, that's completely fine. You can check down below my link of personal training in the description what I can just do a full routine just for your own unique circumstances. So this way you actually build your body of your dreams, right? I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and also check out how to train your biceps with only these three exercises.